Unfortunately, as you can clearly see, the tub isn't exactly the most attractive pellet. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use a Rust-Oleum tub and tile refinishing kit to refinish the surface and hopefully, as advertised, make it look like new. I've never done anything like this before, so hopefully I don't screw it up. Unfortunately, step one is to clean everything, uh, which is never enjoyable, but it has to be done. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and clean all of this. So now that the tub is clean, we can move on to step two. So we're gonna scrub it down with an abrasive pad like the Scotch-Brite pad, and then we're gonna use 400 to 600 grit sandpaper in order to scuff up the surface area a little bit. After that, we give it a rinse and a dry. All right, so now that the tub is clean, um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mix this together. Um, so once you open the box, directions are pretty simple. Mix A with B, and then you paint it on. So that is what we're going to do. Now the instructions also say that this has a time of six hours. So from the point at which you mix it, you've basically got six hours to do all of the work. The tub needs two coats with an hour of drying in between. Uh, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this, do our first coat, uh, let it dry for about an hour, and then we'll do our second coat. So here we go. Now the directions say that it is very runny, but not to put it on runny, um, which I know that sounds kind of difficult but uh, basically it's advertised as self-leveling, uh, so not to worry if it's too uneven. So we're just gonna make sure that this is mixed really good. All right, so that looks pretty good. It's a pretty runny consistency, um, but we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna try it out. So it's been a few days since we finished off the tub. The directions say that you're not supposed to expose it to water for about three days. Overall, I'm really happy with the finish. It's much better than the ugly yellow color that we had. Uh, of course, it's not perfect. It's my first time doing it, but the kit was easy. The instructions were easy to follow. And if you're an amateur who's gonna attempt something like this, um, I would definitely give the product an A because it's very easy to use. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see me eventually finish this thing.